Welcome back to yet another episode of the Mark II 20 Turbo Quick Build. Um, sorry about the background noise, you may notice it's a bit windy. So I should be at work today, but we are currently now in a red weather warning and the boss told us not to at work, so I'm in a workshop instead. Winning. Um, so I've got an extra day on the golf, and ideally I've got tomorrow on the golf as well, so hopefully we can make a bit of progress. So I think, obviously, as you may have seen in the last video, engine was tore out. Previously to that, I stripped off like the interior and various bits and bobs from it. So now the goal will be to drop the subframe, remove the exhaust, uh, remove all the rear axle, brake lines, and the rest of the rear suspension. And then short off some little bits like wiper motors, wipers, a tailgate and that, you know, at some point. That's the shell then, oh, and the fuel tank and all that stuff needs removed. Then that's the shell stripped. So that needs to be done today. And what I also want to do then is get the new shell in here, on the ramp somehow, and start prepping it. So for that, I'm going to need to cut out all the holes for the wiring loom, cut out the holes for the clutch slave cylinder, modify the tunnel for the Mark IV shifter. Um, so ideally, I don't want to leave the workshop today until that new shell is prepped. And once that new shell is prepped, it's mostly a case of just bolting everything back on. Short of the couple repairs to the wiring loom and the engine and such, it's bolted back together. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. If, if all went really well and my parts arrived today, there could be a running and driving Mark 220 Turbo by the end of tomorrow. So, let's see how it goes. Well, as you can think, see, things have changed a tiny bit. Um, now, I haven't recorded anything, I've just been flat out at it going for it, trying to make some progress. And you may notice the golf that's on this ramp has wings and it's a different colour. Because it's the other one. So what I've done is I've finished off stripping out the wiring, steering racks, subframes, uh, rear shocks, fuel tank, which is actually like a full tank of fuel, which is annoying, rear beam, exhaust, just all that kind of stuff really. So I stripped it right off the shell, uh, managed to use the engine crane and the engine stand to move my old shell down the end of the shed to then get the new shell out onto the ramp using the dollies I built last a uh, while ago. Got the shell on the ramp and then managed to then put these dollies back on the old shell so I can move both shells about. So I think now priority rise wise. Yeah I'm probably better off um getting the brake lines ready to go in a minute but before that yeah I'm better off removing the wings cutting all the holes in the shell and modifying it ready for the conversion bits and then obviously got things like this rust that tied up which isn't isn't structural it just needs tidying up so I can clean that back put some rust treatment on it and I'm just going to put some black paint on it uh, what else would I do ripple that out should be a blank in there I think ripple that out ah heater matrix that might the heat box might have to go in before the engine goes in. So if I make it roll in shell, I can at least drop it onto the floor, move it off the ramp to get an outfit to work on it then. So I think that's gonna be probably the next priority, is rolling, strip off what needs to be stripped off for now, and then get the brake lines in and make it a rolling shell. And then we can really, then it can start to come together. If it rolls, it's nice. Let's crack on then. Well, things have moved on a massive way since I last recorded. Uh, yeah, I can't, actually, I can't actually remember when I did last record. I think when I put the shell on the ramp. So since then, um, I'll show you what I have done. So you may notice we have a brake booster, a clutch set up, a master cylinder. Uh, we've got a complete subframe in. We've got the selector cables here. Uh, I've painted the well, that's still sticky actually. Uh, clean up the rust and just paint over that for now because again, I'm not, not concerned about that massively. Brake lines are in, new brake lines for the front calipers to go in. We got all the, the um, hub carriers and such on, uh, AIB, the whole lot. What I'm waiting on is the struts, which now because of the red weather warning yesterday were actually delayed, which is really annoying. Um, and I think according to my phone here, yeah, delivery pending, so. I'm probably not going to get them today, either. Which is really annoying, because they're literally up the road. <laughs> um, so that's all that's holding me back from being a rolling shell. Get the struts in, I can put the calipers on, 
and I can bleed the brakes. Uh, rear ends are on, so put that back on again. Uh, again, all the brake lines and stuff like that. That's all done. Ready to feed up the handbrake cables in a minute. Uh, rear bumpers off. Inside, we got the we got the pedals mounted. We got the gear selector mounted. So, over, and I cleaned up and painted and changed all the bushes on the front cross member thingy. So overall, a lot of progress was made yesterday. I got out of workshop like nine o'clock-ish. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I think now next port of call is gonna be remove the wings, prep the front end to get the wiring in. Gotta do that. Then the front cross member can go on. And then the, ah, I did the heater box and matrix stuff before I get the engine in, because I also need access to back here, get the heat shields in. So I think it's going to be a case of wiring and that kind of stuff. I'm not going to worry about, well, and the fuel tank going. That can go in with the engine in or with the engine not in, either way. But obviously before I put the engine in, I've got to do that time belt and such. So I am currently, you might notice the lights flickering. It's been running on a generator. I've just tried three generators, got the third one up and running, and we have enough power for lights because, like, early hours this morning, Western Power cut the power. I can only assume it's to help get the other 25,000 people across Cornwall without power back on again. So we've got no power until potentially six o'clock tonight. <laughs> so I've got some lights running. I can't use a grinder. If there's any air in the tank, still I can use the air tools, but I've got a battery grinder and annoyingly now we can't use a plasma, but we'll, we'll make do. So let's crack on. Right, it's a bit of progress we've made. You may notice the um, heater box is in there, plus some work done to flaps because they've gone all um, crispy on the foam, so I've replaced them. Uh, other than that, not a massive amount. It's actually been a bit of a pain in the ass now. Not having electric, to running off this um, one of my old generators, is a complete pain. Because I've got no use to the grinder because that's uh, that generator doesn't really like it, especially not all these lights running anyway. Um, no use to the plasma, no use to the welder, and no use to the ramp, which is really annoying because the ramp is pretty important at the moment so i can't move the car up and down or i can do but it takes like a thousand turns up pulley up there <laughs> so i'm trying to avoid it really so what i have done though is i've put in the clutch of wire put back in the heat shield because now the matrix that's all back in uh running the wire and looms in the front here and done all the holes and alterations for that uh so that's now wire and looms are sort of ready to connect now they've got to be pinned up inside the wings but that's no big deal i've uh, got the clutch line there ready to go as well so that kind of leaves me on what I'll do next. I don't want to do anything in the car because it's an absolute nightmare getting in and out of the car with it on the ramp to do stuff inside. I need it on its wheels for that. I can't have it on its wheels because the suspension hasn't turned up for the second day. So that's annoying, so that's, that's holding me back there. So it can't be a rolling shell. Can't finish off the brakes because I haven't, can't put the calipers on until I've got the struts on. <laughs> um, yeah, I could do the fuel tank, but the problem is I can't really do a fuel tank. Um, to do that, I'd have to empty it because I, I can lift it up onto the trolley jack just about with all the fuel in there but I could empty I suppose but I can't I need I need to golf up in the air to put it on that and then to jack it up into place if I can do that and I can't be asked to empty it so can't do the fuel tank engine I'm gonna have to see if I can get the golf down a bit low enough I can put in this front subframe in it and then I can't see the reason why I can't put the engine in. So I can get the engine in and drive shafts in. And then once the engine's in, I can start connecting up all the wiring to it, all the plumbing, and start to reassemble the front end. So I think that's gonna be my next best bit of good progress. I think now is gonna get the engine in, despite the fact that I wanted it really on its wheels, ready to go before that. But thanks to no electric and no struts, I can't do that. So I don't think I need any electric to put the engine in. So first job is gonna be to sort out this, replace this timing belt and the auxiliary belt recheck the engine's timing and then reassemble the side of the engine and then it can go in and that should be sweet hopefully anyway
Wow, great news. I finally got electric back on. Uh, at half past nine at night. <laughs> um, which is great, but no use now. Progress has been made. Uh, so as you see, the engine's in. What I did do before doing the engine, I've done the cam belt, but the tensioner there, that's actually buggered. So I need to order a new one. But I'll put it in anyway, because that's obviously I can get to that anyway. So need to order up a new tensioner. Wire and looms are in, onto the engine. Ground cable's all done in. Main power cables are into the engine. Done and done. Uh, clutch, hydraulic line is in. Uh, speedo cable, throttle cable. So, quite a bit of progress made there. And I've even bolted back on the front slam panel. Uh, headlights, they're all going. I've got actually new ones in order. Slight issue, I was gonna bolt in the intercool and radiator. Now, I was hoping to use a brand new radiator over there, which I'm sure was for Golf or Shrock or something. But actually, it's too big. Um, so I can't use that one. So I've had to hold off, hold off that. So I'm still, yeah, still need struts. Need new radiator now. Need the uh, tensioner pulley for the cam belt. So a few things hold me back, but progress has definitely been made. Um, ideally, I'm hoping to get a bit of time on this tomorrow if possible. I might not be able to, but if I can, it means I can get the, now the ramp works, I can get the fuel pump in uh, and the fuel tank. I can get all that stuff in. I can maybe bleed the clutch, see if that works. I can get more of the front end done. I could use my old radiator actually to mock up. I don't think it's that bent. So I could potentially use the old parts to make the mounts and mock all that up again. Drive shafts can go in now as well. Just a shame I haven't got them struts. Really need them struts. And then once I got the struts in, which will be hopefully some point this up and coming week, if not one evening, I'll get the struts in. It's then a, I can bleed and do the front brakes, and then it's a rolling shell. So once it's a rolling shell, I can get it off the ramp and I can do the inside bits. So, which, and then once in, you know, all I have to do is hook up some cables inside, and then it'll be running. So, progress is definitely being made on it. Um, I'm quite happy so far with the progress. Today could have gone a lot better if I had power, if I didn't have all the, uh, the extra broken parts and the wrong parts, then, and the struts arrived, then it could have been a lot further on. But today's been a massive inconvenience. So, yeah, is what it is. But if you happen to have enjoyed um, watching some of this progress in the golf and want to see what happens to it and how it goes, then why not stick around? Um, you can subscribe to the channel, you can drop me a comment on what you think, like the video, and even share it about. It just helps me out. Um, now I'm going to go get some food and have a shower because I need it. And with any luck, I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.